Hi everybody, Happy New Year. I thought I'd start the year off by showing you how to apply gel polish. It's only a basic video and I'm not going to prepare my nails as I would normally if I was doing it on somebody else. However, I thought it'd be useful just to kind of show you what you need to do. So I'll show you what I use. I actually purchase the Rio Fabulous Nails LED Gel Polish Starter Kit. I just got it from Argos and basically it came with a couple of polishers and also a base and top coat. So it was a good starting point for me and it wasn't too badly priced either. So that's what I use. And then what I will show you is, is the items. So in the box, you get your LED light, which allows you to cure the gel nail polish. Uh, and basically that's what it looks like. Obviously a lot cleaner than mine, but that's what it looks like. And you obviously get a power cable as well that places in. Now the on off button on the top, when you press that down, it will do a cure for 60 seconds. And that is ample for LED gel polishers. But again, obviously depending on what gel polish you use, you just need to obviously look at the manufacturer's instructions. So that's the kit. Um, and what I'll do is I'll show you how to obviously apply the gel polish to one hand, just to give you a basic idea. So to start off with, what you need to do is you need to buff the shine from your nails. Now I tend to not buff my nails too much. My nails aren't in the best of condition unfortunately because I'm always experimenting with different things. But what you need to do is, is to take off the shine. So just very lightly take off the shine from each nail. I'm not going to spend ages doing this because like I say my nails aren't in the best of condition at the moment. But it really helps the foundation coat adhere to the nail a little bit better than obviously it being shiny and smooth. So I'm not going to buff too much, but just a little to give you a basic idea. Once you've done that, what you need to do is you need to remove all the natural oils from your nails in terms of you need to dehydrate the nail. Now what I actually use for this is I purchased these on eBay and I'm happy to provide you a link below in the description. But I got the Miley Nail Kit and within that it came Nail Prep and Polish Wipe. So within that kit you also get the Miley Nail 200 Professional Lint Free Wipes as well which you can use and it's important that you get lint free otherwise you end up with lots of tiny bits of fluff from cotton wool in your nail polish and it's an absolute nightmare to try and get rid of. So what we need to do first of all is get one of the lint cloths out of the packet and literally place a small amount on a lint free cloth and then all you need to do is wipe the nails so it gets rid of any of your natural oils that are on the nail which could involve the gel polish lifting slightly so we need to remove that and be careful when you're removing the natural oils not to touch your nail because obviously you've got natural oils in your skin and that just literally reapplies it so that's all I do is just wipe over my nails as so. So that's the first step once you've done the buffing. Now what I have actually purchased is just a cheap nail polish in terms of gel polish and I actually purchased these online. I can put the links below so you can see where to purchase them. But I actually purchased the Azure and these actually get delivered from China but they're really good. I was really impressed with the quality. Now this one's what they call a foundation base gel. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to apply a small thin coat over each of the nails and then we're going to cure it under the LED light for 60 seconds. So I'm just going to show you the principle of this just to give you an idea and then obviously I'll pause the camera while it cures and then I'll come back. What you need to do is when you're actually applying it is make sure you've not got too much of the gel on your brush because if it's too thick it doesn't cure properly. So you need to really kind of remember that it's thin coats. So when you're actually applying the colour, you need to apply, rather than one thick coat, you need to apply thin coats. Now, depending on the brand of the gel polish, it could be that it only requires one coat, it could be two, it could be three, it could be even four, just depending. So take off the majority of the excess. And then all you need to do is apply the base coat as you would any base coat. Same principle 
just apply that to the nail and remember to cap the end of the nail with the base coat as well covering it all and then obviously repeating that step on all of your nails as so and I'll be back with you shortly when I've finished okay that's all of my nails painted with the foundation base coat the next step is to cure them under the LED light now because I've only got a small light I do the fingers first so I do my four fingers place them under the light I place it down like that and then you literally press the on off button and as you can see the LED light comes on and that will cure for 60 seconds but just make sure you don't look and stare directly at the light it isn't good for your eyes so what I tend to do is is if I'm doing my own nails or if I'm doing somebody else's nails I tend to cover this part here be careful not to catch obviously your thumbnail which obviously isn't cured yet once these are cured I'll be back with you shortly once you've cured your four fingers you need to obviously cure your thumb separately what I tend to do is I move the light away and I put my thumb down where it's in a comfortable position so that the nail is pointing upwards place the LED light over it be careful not to catch your other fingernails and then press the on off button again and cure that for 60 seconds remember not to look into the light directly and try and cover it where possible I'll be back with you shortly once it's finished curing okay once you've cured your foundation layer then it's time to apply your chosen colour gel now what I've chosen is is another Azure product and this is a soak off obviously LED nail and what this actually is is basically a colour that changes whether you're hot or cold so at the moment as you can see okay so once you've cured your fingernails from the base coat you need to apply your gel colour now I've chosen another Azure gel product and basically this colour is as you can see quite a dark blue um, but it's two tone so when it's cold you'll actually find that it stays dark blue and then when you get warm you'll find that the dark blue turns a very pale blue so what you need to do is you need to apply your colour the same as you would nail polish but remember to make sure you take the excess polish off the brush it's important to try and have thin layers rather than thick layers now what you do tend to find as well is sometimes the nail polish will run down the, the actual glue sometimes you'll find that the nail polish will run down the stick onto your brush so just be careful and keep an eye on that you've not got too excess too much polish on there so you need to apply this remember to stay away from your cuticle and apply this over your nail and capping the end as well as so now I'm not going to worry about being too neat for this process but it just gives you an idea again obviously make sure you've not got too much polish and then apply the gel onto the nail remember to cap the end of the nail and then again and just repeat that for all of your other nails And if you've got too much on, the beauty with this is because it doesn't dry like normal nail polish, you can take off any excess polish as so. Now you'll notice that the blue actually looks quite dark on the brush but when it's being applied to my nail. It's actually quite light. This is to do with the fact that it's quite a thin coat and I am quite warm. So the nail polish is already changing colour. It's becoming a very pale blue rather than obviously quite a dark blue if I was actually colder so again you can take off any excess make sure you cap the ends of your nail try to avoid your cuticle 
and then again you just need to apply this to your nail like so remember to cap the ends and then just brush up again okay so that's the first coat as you can see nice and thin and then what you need to do is, is cure that again for 60 seconds under your LED lamp so I tend to do the four fingers first and then I do my thumb separately so I'm going to cure them and I'll be back with you shortly okay once you've cured all of your nails you need to apply a second coat now it's important to remember that the nail polish if you do happen to touch your nails won't feel as if it's dry it will have kind of a sticky tacky layer which is exactly how it should be and what that does is it allows the second layer to adhere to the base layer okay so just apply that again not too thickly you can obviously experiment and see what it looks like but you'll find if it's too thick you tend to kind of get an uneven nail surface one thing you'll notice is I've slightly got some LED polish on my skin which I am just going to take off with my fingernail for now but just note that if you do happen to get it on your skin it's not a problem and you can remove it with acetone the same as you would nail polish but make sure you remove it with acetone before you put your fingers under the LED light otherwise it will actually cure the nail polish onto your skin which makes it obviously harder to remove so if you tidy do a tidy up before you cure the nails it's far better as you can see it's still quite a light coat but once I'm really cold it will go really dark blue again I'm not being very perfect about this but it's just to give you the idea of how to apply it okay a little bit on the skin for me I'm going to take it off okay and then what you need to do is then obviously cure your second coat okay once you've cured your second coat then for the purposes of this video I'm going to actually put on my top coat next which for the azure range it does specify it is a top coat so again your nails will still feel tacky if you are to touch them try to avoid touching them and then what you need to do is apply a top coat again make sure you've not got too much of it on the brush at any one time and then literally go in and cover the nail remember to cap the nail and cover with your top coat and it's surprising a little bit goes a long way it's probably very hard for you to see on camera but again if you do happen to get too much on your nail which I have there just wipe off the excess that's the beauty of this it doesn't dry quickly okay and again just making sure you're covering the whole of your nail with the top coat so we can seal in that colour and again on the thumb Okay, and then it's just a case 
of curing your nails one final time. So I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, and once you've cured your top coat, then what you need to do is go back to the nail prep and polish wipe and get a fresh lint wipe from your pack. And then what we're going to do is put a small amount onto the lint free wipe. And then what we're going to do is, is take off the stickiness that you could feel if you touched it. And what this does is, it takes off the sticky layer of the top of the top coat and gives you a fantastic shine, which you'll see hopefully on the camera. And once you've taken off the sticky layer, now a lot of people will recommend that you use one fresh lint wipe per nail, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to use the same one. And just literally remove all of the sticky layer, like so. And then literally everything is completely dry to touch. No problem at all. You've not got to wait for a normal nail polish to dry, however long that might take. You literally can go and wash your hands now and it won't impact on the polish. It won't dent. You won't get any marks on it or any chips. And it should last between two to three weeks. Now, as you can see, it's quite a pale blue and that is because I'm quite hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and wash my hands under cold water and come back and show you how intense the dark blue will be if you're actually cold. Back shortly. And as you can see, I've already started to turn light blue again, but I have just put my hands under cold water. They're still wet and you can see the tips are quite a dark blue and then it obviously will go lighter as the nail polish heats up. So there you go. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Leave me some questions below or if you'd like to see a video on anything else, then please do not hesitate to comment below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.